Radio VL, premier média de jeunes en France. You tell these beautiful stories. They're not all beautiful, are they? That's why we do rewrites. I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, it's about the pursuit of the American dream and what does that cost people when they are willing to give up who they are and recreate who they are in order to pursue that dream. It's about romance, love, loss, ambition, all within the golden age of the studio system in Hollywood in the 1930s. Yeah, it's more of the backdrop. Yeah, I, mean, there, I think there is some sort of there is some sort of audience payoff for watching how the process is. I mean, it, it, you get to see the bit of the process, mm -hmm. the, but in the end, it's the same. It's just a canvas on which we, you know, act out like human beings do. You know, badly. We we do mean things to each other. We do wonderful things to each other. We have celebrations and we have great, great uh, moments we have laughter, of, of, we have of despair. Tears. There are there are deaths, there are lives, there are births. It's it's the traffic of life takes place on this on this canvas. Mm -hmm. I'm making our movie. With whose money? Don't you know each cloud contains pennies from you? You know, honestly, it's... It's, 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 uh, it's ever-evolving, yeah. Hollywood is. I mean, there were a lot of things about the studio system at that time that were really inhibiting for artists you know you were contracted to a studio they told you what movies you were going to be in how you're going to speak what you were going to wear who you're going to be seen with mm. all these things i mean and you had uh, in exchange for that you had their protection you had a built-in security system through them and built-in job assurance which we don't have now yeah. so it, it's always changing and and sometimes for the better sometimes for the worse i guess yeah. i think i think i think talent is, is left alone a little more than it used to be honestly i think that may be something but they still need to make sure you're doing okay. They still need to kind of control you. I think in the old days they used to, you know, they would put people together to go to an, uh, an event together to like start a rumor. Uh, they were a little more involved in the rumor mill themselves. Now the rumor mill is its own, you know, sort of mm -hmm. entity and drives mm -hmm. itself and, and, and digs up its own, its own nonsense. Looks expensive. Could be our Oscar, Pat. We don't need an Oscar. Yes, we do. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's everything Off on the, the show. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so integral to a period piece to come onto set and feel like you're in an immersive environment that makes you forget that you're shooting on digital in 2017. Yeah, I was and, blown and away the when I saw it. You know, From the yeah. production design to the costumes to the, uh, the way it's shot, from our DP, Danny Motor, to uh, the props department. Everything was so specific and detailed and nuanced. The character. And it looks really the good. The way you held yourself and yeah. carried yourself and sat and the furniture and everything. Uh, was informative to the performance and it just helps the game of pretend be that much more immersive. Yeah. Maybe a hundred times a day I take someone to the edge of a roof and I say, don't worry, you can jump. There's water down there. Trust me. And there isn't always water down there. Sometimes there's just pavement. It's certainly skewing that way right now in terms of the greatest writing that's being done. Uh, Honestly, I haven't really gotten excited about a movie in some time, but there's a lot of good work going on on television. And the streaming services, I mean, they've, they've built this world for us. Uh, you know, it's all about content and, and what they own and, you know, the, the business models for Amazon and for Netflix and, and for any other number of, of, of outlets. It's just to make product, and that's fantastic, because now there's a whole bunch of people that are working that probably wouldn't have a chance to work in the old system. Yeah. It's wonderful. I, look, you can't compare mediums, you can't compare performances or qualify any of those things. You, it's all subjective, really, but one thing I do know about this medium that we're in now is that the movies I loved growing up were the 30 to 50 million dollar dramas that took their time, were a slow burn, really trusted and respected their audience, and that's those aren't being made by the studios anymore. Those are being made by Amazon, streaming services, cable, basic mm -hmm. cable. And it's a luxury that we have to get to tell these stories in these 9 to 13 part series now.